Hey, Eric, how are you? Hello, can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. My microphone was mute, but <laughs> I didn't realize that I know. Yeah, I'm doing good. You? I'm doing good. Okay. It's Probably raining. you will see right here that is and in San Salvador. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, we had uh, we had rains uh, here in Sonsonate in the afternoon, so electricity is out. That's why it looks so dark right here because I'm I'm with my cell phone. Then I have the a computer uh, on in order to get some light. The, the the computer is the one that's giving you the light. Yeah, the computer, my, two computers and my phone. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it works, huh? Yes. Okay. And it sounds like it's going to be raining uh, a little bit of, or later on because I, I, hear, I can hear some uh, thunders away. Oh, probably then. It's been... You know, it's been raining the last couple of days, which is unusual. Uh, it it yes. started. Mm -hmm. Something is happening. I don't know. Maybe like the weatherman. So the weatherman calls. Uh, there's a, a kind of wave of uh, humidity that is coming to this area. A lot, a lot, because it's. You know, it didn't rain for almost a month at night, and then now every day it's raining and raining and raining and raining. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, you're right. Hello, good evening. Good for the plants. Yeah, good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Roxana. Good evening. Hey, look at Ernesto. He's got the mask on. He must be at work. Yeah, yes. good evening. Yeah, 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 that, because <laughs> that's the only place you use the mask is at work or outside, so... In the house, ah, who cares? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm glad to see several of you here. We are going to go ahead and get started at looking at degrees of uncertainty or degrees of certainty. So we have the idea for the degrees of certainty um, really is just to express how much you think is going to happen. If we remember yesterday, uh, we saw a couple of them. We saw a few of the things, um, specifically the words like must, must not. This is almost certain. That means that you feel that it's going to happen or it has to happen. That's the must and must not. When something you feel it, it, it is impossible or something is not going to happen, then we use the other word, which is couldn't have. Okay. So, if you think it's not possible, ah, then we're going to have couldn't have and the past participle as well. Now, the important is that for all of these, they're, they are correct if you change them. The difference is what level of degree you are saying that it happens, okay? So, like many people, they didn't see publicity for Mr. Donut. Mr. Donut, in August, they didn't have any publicity. So many people say, oh, uh, Mr. Donut might have forgotten to sell donuts two for one. And other people say, nah, 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 nah. Mr. Donut must have a donuts at two for one. Or, uh, okay. Now, what's the difference? The difference is that we change it. Is we use that word have because we're talking about the past. If we're not talking about the past, we don't need to use have. We just use must. But because our topic and in our lesson is referring to the, to the past, that's why all of them, it doesn't matter which degree, but all of them have the word have. Okay? That's the function. Okay. Okay. So 
the have is really there just so that we can have the idea that it's in the past. Is that okay? Yes, it's okay. So, can can also have be used in the in the past form like had. Also, if, if we want to say something uh, uh, referring to uh, uh, using the using have, like like, like the, she uh, she might have had a. That is correct, Eric. You can use she might have had for example okay she might have had uh her okay. phone or she might have had her her wallet stolen for example okay, okay. Yeah, but so, in this case in mm -hmm. the first have always always have to be used in present might have may have or couldn't have always in present yeah because really what it is yeah, is no, you cannot. It has to be have because it's a, it's a perfect tense. So remember, all of the perfects ha okay. use have, mm -hmm. and then the past participle. Yes. So okay. in order to talk about the past, we use have, okay? The other, the models are the yeah. ones that are the ones that are giving us the degrees. So when we're positive, must. When we're positive, it's not possible or not going to happen, it's couldn't or must not, okay? Couldn't, yes. Then when you think eh, it's a possibility, okay, then we use may or might, okay? okay? We can also use could, but could is also used as an option. It's a possibility, right? These are one of the options that are available. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, it's correct if I say if I say he might have fallen or fallen asleep. Re repeat the sentence again. He might have fallen asleep. Yeah, that is correct. You can say he might have fallen asleep. Mm -hmm. That's a possibility of why he doesn't answer the phone or why he didn't go to work or something. You can say the same he might have, you can say he may have, or he could have, because they're all three of them are used for possibilities. Okay. Okay. So we normally look at it as that the, the words must is usually the idea is that we're talking about 95 to 100 percent okay so when we say must is this is you are certain you must be or you must think because you are very certain of the situation okay that's usually the idea okay the same for must not if you say must not you are the same level of certainty but in the negative Okay. Yeah. The same for could not or couldn't is the same level of certainty, but for negative. So for negative, we have two forms, must not and could not. But for positive, we only have one form and that's must. Then we have the possibilities, right? For possibilities, oof, we can have something like 50%, 60%, all of these different situations. For all of these, we use may, might, could. And then they didn't have in the, in the examples, but we talked about it yesterday. We also use one that is very common. That is the word should, okay? And should is expressing your opinion. Expressing what you give is your recommendation. Okay, this is not for certainty. That's probably why they don't have it in there. But this is very common to use as well. Because the others express certainty, but should represents opinion. So it's not in there, but it is common to use. Okay. Do we have any questions at the moment? 
just could you repeat again how much is the the percentage of may might and could yeah Say may 15 to 50 oh no may might and could are just possibilities so it could be maybe 10 percent it could be 20 percent it could be 80 okay. percent it's just for possibilities mm -hmm. okay in reality usually we think of it as 50 percent because you're not sure and when you're not yeah. sure it's like 50 50. yeah, yeah. yes sir, Ernesto? Mm -hmm. it is correct if i said if i say she should have woken up earlier that is correct she should have woken up earlier it's not a it's not a degree of certainty but it is your opinion it is what is your recommendation that is correct okay now for your degree of certainty is um, imagine she had an exam or she had to catch the the plane the plane leaves at seven o'clock oh then you say she should should have is your opinion or she may have she might have she must have okay you can use any of them they're all the they're all what you think should have happened okay any other questions there me yeah, i have a question good evening good evening sorry sorry i was late i, I have a question that but in somehow well I, I will ask because because we are learning but i have the the idea since we began this topic why we don't say only maybe the same reason in spanish you don't use just one word it's rep repetitive you want to make sure that you have a variety of vocabulary because not always it represents the same degree a maybe is a possibility but mm -hmm. the others represent a double a different level of possibilities so for example must represents a high level of possibility or must not represents a high level of not possibility the same for uh, could represents the level of uh, options. Mm -hmm. So it's it's mainly just to make sure you break up the language and use different levels of certainty. But you are correct, Maria. All of them have the idea, or except for must and couldn't, but all of them, the rest of them have the idea that it's like a maybe. Mm -hmm. So I say, Roxana, are you going to the party? Maybe or I, I may go, or Marcella might use, I might go. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so what are we going to do? Well, with our partners, we're going to do exercise 3.4, the knowledge check. The knowledge check is using these words and trying to identify what is the best explanation for those situations, okay? So what we're going to do is we're gonna create partners and then we're going to do exercise 3.4 in the platform, okay? It's, there are only a few sentences, so it shouldn't take us too long. It shouldn't take us more than 10 minutes. We're gonna have, there are six sentences, so I think that 10 minutes is, is more than enough time for us to read it, to discuss with our partner, to make a decision, to analyze, and then we can come back and make sure. The, Are you going to share the, the screen? No, you're going to, I'm going to create you and partners. So you're gonna have three, you're going to do exercises 3.4 with your partner. But we will work uh, right on the platform, not you will work, on the... Yes, you will work right on the platform. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I will turn on the machine. Okay. Okay, no problem. Well, uh, I don't have internet in my case, so. Uh, you, so how are you doing for the classes right now, Eric?
was going to share the, the, the screen uh -huh, in order to take up pictures cool. because I'm using my, 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 my cell phone also because mm -hmm. the electricity is out, so I, I don't have internet in my computer. Yeah, see, I can see that. And, and well, here is raining. Oh, yeah, it's supposed, it's supposed to be. I guess it's going to be raining here later on. Mm -hmm. Which it, exercise is the one that we have to do? I'm sorry. 3.4. 3.4. I'm waiting for. Do you have do you have access to your cell phone? Are you are you on the cell phone also? Uh -huh. See, I am in the cell phone, but uh, I don't know how to go to the platform using no, no. the cell phone. Ah, okay. Uh, because it's if you look on the cell phone, do you also have the the questions on the cell phone in the WhatsApp group? Ah, ah, okay. So, so in, we case, don't need in case you don't have internet or in case you have a problem, also mm -hmm. that way you can talk right now with your partner and then uh, later do the answers in the platform. It's You have the two options. Uh -huh. oh, good, it, because Eric, Eric has not... Uh, electricity in his home yes yes eric eric mentioned <laughs> he was using the the computer and the lights and everything uh -huh. but, uh, and and i don't know if, if if you can see your whatsapp also eric because in the in the whatsapp the yes. you have all the questions in the whatsapp also it, only that you know yeah, just right now uh -huh, only that remember later that way you can pass the answers to uh, into the platform for so that you can check i think um, Marcela, you are using the computer, right? Yes, I was going to ask you if you want me to share my screen. So yeah, that's great. I mean, yeah. it, it's easier for them because instead of that going between be the two between the two yes. pages, it's easier to share. Okay, I will do it now. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. uh, sure. Tell me, tell me. And the number of the section is 3.4, right? Correct. Or you can check your WhatsApp group. The questions are also in the WhatsApp. So the two forms. Uh, mm -hmm. WhatsApp. Yeah, you can okay. use, uh, you can check the WhatsApp or you can do the 3.4 uh, directly into the platform. Whatever is easier uh -huh. for you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. But, but, okay. But did you see the, uh, it's in the WhatsApp or, or no? Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. okay, perfect. Good, good, good. Okay, tell me what, what we, we're doing, um, please. Uh, we are doing the knowledge exercise 3.4 in the platform. You have to go to the platform. Okay. And yes. In, uh, um, and you You can check the WhatsApp also. The, do you have the two options? Um, Read the sentences. So Heidi, we we select uh, one, uh, we select one option. Roxana, any questions? Uh, right now. I'm checking the platform. I am choosing for sentences more difficult. Um, right now, I I yeah. am choosing the, okay. the, but no, right now I don't have a question. Okay, all right. Remember, <laughs> you, it's also in case you have problems with the platform, it's in the WhatsApp. So also the questions are in WhatsApp in case you have problems. Oh. For I am Heidi. working already in the oh, oh, okay. Okay. It's for, for Haiti. Okay. Yes, because I know Haiti is, is in the cell phone, right, Haiti? Uh, yeah, yeah. 
uh, I think for Haiti is having some kind of yes. connection. So that's why yes. it's the two. If if you can do on the platform, it's better. But okay. if you yes, if not, the cell phone, I'm, I'm, uh huh. But if you are in the cell phone, I put in WhatsApp so I'm that working. it's easy for you too. Okay, good. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Last weekend. No, on weekend. This weekend. Ah, okay. This weekend. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is this is your your first time with Inglés Corporativo. Yes, the first time. Okay. Yes, and you? No, this is my fourth time. Ah, okay, okay. Yes. But the, the last the last course was was very intensive because we have classes from Monday to Friday, two hours per day. Ah, really? Yes. Uh, about me, I have not studied for several months, but I did the exam, oral exam, and uh, she, he, me ubicaron, como se Put me. Uh -huh. in, in, in this level. Uh, okay. They look. They look at look at me. Mm -hmm. And okay. but uh, I I think it so it has to be. Mm -mm -mm. He may have gotten a race, maybe. Yeah. Because, because he's in 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 a positive, right? Yes. Because the other one doesn't fit. Are you are you agree? Yes, letter A. Okay. Maura mm -hmm. number four. Yes. So uh, the number one is it's incorrect. Maura couldn't keep her eyes open. Yes, here is letter B. Any number one we have to change it. Maura couldn't keep her eyes open. She must... Here is she must not have gotten enough to sleep. We are wrong with uh how, how, mm. I haven't had haven't haven't had <laughs> this because you know seria había tenido uh-huh if you uh -huh. use had had is había tenido uh -huh. or something like that uh, it's it's i haven't had yeah, right. uh -huh. I, haven't had. I haven't had enough time uh -huh. no, <laughs> to do the homework so um okay <laughs> i'm going to don't worry. Hide it. I know if when you have a, a little bit of time, you will do it in a quick time. Maybe yeah, I, I, I am scheduled minutes. to do it tomorrow on the afternoon when when I when my my classes are done. So tomorrow it's going to be the day. Ah. Okay. So sorry, uh, I don't know what happened with my cell phone.
Teacher, I think you are mute. Okay, thank you. Can you hear me now? Yes. All right. Yes. I was looking like, hey, nobody answers. Okay. All right. So, are there any questions? <laughs> there and um, as far as what the modals are, how we use them? No. Okay, for her, no. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? No. At the beginning, we have uh, we have the. We, we were between two answers and then we decided to go to go with the next one and the next one and then we found that what will be the, the correct for the first one too. Okay, all right. So it's really about uh, getting used to uh, what they mean and how they are used, right? Um, when we have a, an opinion or advice versus the certainty. So right now we have been looking at certainty, like must, uh, must not, could, uh, could not, may, and might. The next topic that we have is the idea of also expressing it with here for opinions and advice. And this is the one that I was mentioning earlier that is very common for us to use, which is the word should, right? Because this we use very frequently and we use it because it's, it's a way to say my opinion is this, okay? So in the present is the same should. In the past is should, okay? So in the future, you're gonna use should, okay? Well, not really, but you use should always for your opinion. So we have for the past the same as the other ones. Always we need the verb have and the past participle. So we're gonna have, you should have called her on the phone. You shouldn't have kept her long. Or, or sorry, you shouldn't have kept your notes this long. And then we have, this is opinion. And then when you have like a recommendation and advice, ah, you could have. This is one of the options, right? It's another way to give an advice or opinion. And I wouldn't have borrowed. That's, I'm giving what I do. I, I don't think that this is correct or or I think it is correct. I would have borrowed or I wouldn't have lent. We're going to listen to and watch the video a little bit to make sure that we have a better understanding of opinions and advice. Okay. The other one was degree of certainty and this is for opinions and advice. But all of them use have in the past tense. Did you have a question? No, right now. Yes, uh, we use the past participle. Past participle. Yes, always, always we use the past participle. Okay. With the models too. They, they always when we want to use them in the past, yes. Okay. So because you use, always you use have, and then you use the past participle. This is to indicate that is this activity is in the past. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Welcome. We will now study past models for opinions and advice. Don't go as we are sure this is going to be useful for you. Past models for opinions and advice. Giving opinions. You should have called her on the phone. She shouldn't have kept your notes this long. Giving advice. You could have been more understanding. I would have borrowed someone else's notes. I wouldn't have lent them to her. Giving opinions. When giving opinions, we may use should have or shouldn't have. I will give you two sentences. You should have called her. Molly shouldn't have kept your notes. In the example, you should have called her. Molly is giving an opinion. She thinks Michi was wrong to send emails. Molly shouldn't have kept your notes. Michi is giving an opinion. She thinks Molly was wrong to keep the notes. This is the rule. Subject plus should, not plus have plus participle. When giving advice, we may use would have or could have. I will explain the meaning of would have like this. 
I wouldn't have sent so many messages. Molly is imagining this hypothetical situation happening to her and saying she would have done things differently. This is the situation. There has been a misunderstanding about you at work with a workmate. Type in an opinion as well as an advice using past models. Okay. Notes this long. So what is it that we're learning or what is it that's important from this one? It's about giving an advice or giving opinion. We all have an opinion, like we like, we don't like, this is good, this is bad. And this is how you give it in the situations, okay? Now, these opinions are only for things in the past, okay? What do you think the person should have done in the past? So maybe, um, you see, let me focus here. We, we're looking specifically and we see that it says past models for opinions and advice. This is because all of these are things that cannot change, okay? So you, you, you lost the bus, you missed the bus to go to work, okay? Ah, uh, you should have put an alarm. You should have woken up early. Or you could have, uh, you could have used Uber, okay? Whatever your advice or your opinion is. Now, what's the difference? Opinion is just a statement, is what I think. Advice is what I think you should do. So the advice is include actions. And opinions is only a, what I believe. Are there any questions between the two of those? And, we, and, and if we use uh, like wood, or good, um, maybe we um, sound like be unrespectful for No, no, it's only what I it's think. Good. It's only what or like, I... do, like obligation, that, no. like they have to do these things because I say so. <laughs> No, 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 it's not for obligation. But what it sounds like is that uh, you don't agree with the person. So for example, Karen uh, made cookies, okay? Karen made cookies with sugar. I don't agree, I don't like sugar. I think it's better to make cookies with uh, Splendor. So I tell Karen, I would have made cookies with Splendor. It's not that it's wrong, it's just that in my situation, I think the action would be better in, with this. Okay. Or in the case okay. of Karen, maybe Karen, Karen is diabetic. Karen is diabetic. And then I give my opinion. Ah, you, should, you should have stopped eating sugar because she's diabetic. So it's not that it's good or bad, it's just expressing what your ideas are, okay? Now, for our culture, maybe it's a little offensive because we, we, we are not direct, okay? So it's, and this, yes. is, this is for Hispanic culture. are like, we have to adore everything, yeah. like flowers and, and rainbows <laughs> to say something. <laughs> So, it's true because if you are very like do it like that is like oh you, you are i'm gonna say something but no <laughs> <laughs> no and it's true and you know it, it it doesn't have to do so much with the the way it's just that this is our culture right if if we have an uh, um if we work with an American businessman or a Canadian or European are even more direct. For example, mm -hmm. the French, they interrupt you. If you are presenting or speaking and they say, why, why that? In the middle of the presentation. And Salvadorians know, we wait for someone to finish. Then we say, oh, thank you very much for the information. It's very useful. Um, and then we try to use a, a nice way to say it. Maybe I didn't understand or, I, or I, I am not clear, but in reality, the person is, you didn't explain. 
but we don't say you didn't explain. We try to, we try to make excuses and it's okay. But it's important to understand how it functions and how it works for when you interact with other people. If you work with another Salvadorian, okay, you use it the, the nice way if you want. But it's not going to be common because in most others, you give your opinion, okay? So for example, Roxana's flowers in the background, okay? I would have bought tulips. But, <laughs> mm-hmm. Exactly, but but in El Salvador, if I say this, maybe it's, oh, you don't like my taste. Oh, you think I make a bad, like we have so many ideas that is like the person is being offensive. No, it's only an opinion. It's like pupusas. I like cheese pupusas. You like beans and cheese. Maria, Maria likes uh, mixed pupusas. Ernesto likes uh, rice pupusas. Okay, it's not offensive, but in El Salvador, when we talk about each other or about our job or something, sometimes people feel that it's offensive. That's why it's okay. These situations is not offensive. It's only to give your opinion. I would, I sh you should, okay? And this, the, what Roxana is asking, probably the best one for our culture is I would. Mm. Okay, because this is me. This is me. I like Roxana buys a, a blue dress. I ah, oh, I would have used green. That way is not offensive. That oh, you bought you bought a blue dress. It's ugly. No, no, no. I because for my skin or and you can use whatever excuse. Okay. So these are for giving advice and expressing opinions. Okay. So one more question, teacher. Yes. For example, we have should for opinions and uh, could and uh, would for advice. Mm -hmm. But in the daily in a daily conversation, we can we can get confused. We can mix them. But I think people uh, would understand what are we trying to say or not. Even if we mix the should, giving an opinion, uh, using should like an advice and couldn't would and couldn't would using a, an opinion. Because yes. in my case, sometimes the, the, I would mix them. Yeah, the, the tip, Eric, the, the way you don't mix them, it, the, the way you don't mix them up is don't think of it as would or should. Think of it as uh, I would and think of it as you should. Okay. Okay, so because okay, when you... Yes, because it, you don't, because if you say should, sometimes maybe you, you confuse with I should. No, no, no. It's almost always you should or he should or she should. So think of it as is yes, you okay. should and the would is not to offend the other person. It's what you do. So you almost always use I would. Okay. Mm-hmm. Thanks. And of course, we change it. There's sometimes, like, like everything in English, there are exceptions. You, sometimes you put he would or she would, but usually this is the, when you are talking to the person is I would and you should. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're going to try to do um, an exercise based on it. It's, for those that are on the computer, it's 3.7. Don't worry if you're not on the computer. I put into the WhatsApp group. Don't. It just takes a moment sometimes, but the same thing. So, it's three point seven. The knowledge check three point seven in the platform, or if you have the WhatsApp, and um, just look at the pictures in WhatsApp. It's the new ones that are going to send. Okay. Okay. And let's try to use these words: should, would, these new ones to give advice and opinions. All right. Okay. Something happened. What happened? Uh, it disappeared the the screen box for the groups. Oh really? Can you show me the invitation again? Yeah. Yes. Okay, hang on, Eric. Let's let's try one more time. Let me find you and let me try again. Did you receive oh, it? Yeah, thanks. Okay, you're welcome.
Ruth, are you having some problems? Okay, Ruth, if you have problems, let me know. I'm going to check in on the other groups. Yeah. I think without it, because it's not the end of the sentence. Because then uh, there is this word neatly. I, I am submitting that one to see if it was correct or uh -huh. not. And no, it was not correct. Of course. <laughs> so maybe maybe the whole thing will, comma, he, maybe. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Well, ah, he, ah, all the sentences, okay. He should have, he should have dressed. Aquí está en el correo, ya, ya, aquí está. Teacher, ¿acaso lo vamos a llenar este, la, la, lo que hace falta nada más? Ajá. Ok, well, he... Quiero ver... Teacher, ¿tiene este, el, 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 la comparación de las, de las, de cuando es una opinión y cuando es un, 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 ah, un okay, consejo? Ah, ok, ok. No lo tengo, pero ya, lo, ya te lo pongo, ya te lo pongo en el WhatsApp. Ok, excelente, así lo comparo acá bien solo. Ok. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Let me put. Are you trying... With should or with the other one? Estás yeah. intentándolo con should o con el could? Ahorita voy a ver should. Voy a probarlo con should ahorita. Ok. Should. Should. I just said the other show how models with the first given. He would given, maybe he would given dress. Oh, no, 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 the pair given. With the pairs given, que okay, los verbos que nos están dando entre paréntesis. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, it's dress. That's funny. Parts. It's pairs. Yes, okay. So he. Mm -hmm. he, well, would, he would have. Dress, yeah, he would have dressed neatly. Neatly, yeah, he would have dressed. For you, it's would. Yes, because it's an advice, I guess. Incorrect. So oh. He would have incorrect. He would have dressed. In for the for third person, we use have or has. Has he has, has. or she has. has. And then we can say in the first one, teacher, mm -hmm. would uh, well he would has or had. Has he would it's have. Has. He it's he person. would have. Have. Yes, because you use would, remember, always use have. We do not change have for he, she, it, because we use would or could or should. All, all are have. Only, mm -hmm. we, only we put has with no modal. Mm -hmm. um, I have okay. another question, but okay. this is for the platform teacher. Yeah. The... the we have to write only the missing words or all the sentence? For the, the missing word. The missing words. Because I think that I have it correct, but it's wrong. <laughs> okay. Let me double check for you. Well, he would have a dress. Oh, but it's not would have dressed. 
Maybe it should. Um, or could. Yes, it would be could. He could have dressed. Mm -hmm. He could. A possibility. Mm -hmm. Remember also in the in the WhatsApp. Is I, Ron? No, no, no. Could. Yes, it's correct. Try again. Could, could. have dressed. With ed. Remember the past participle of the verb. Remember the past participle. Yes, Dress exactly. With ed. Yes. Because always we use past participle. Yeah, that was. The yeah, I Roxy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, no problem. No problem. That's okay. good. That's okay. good. Good. Okay. Yeah, the bird. Teacher. Yeah. Hi. Only. Yeah. I I have an uh, a questions. I don't know if we have to write just the mother and the bear. That is correct. Or, we, or just the whole yeah. sentence. No. So, for example. Uh, and the first one. Let's. Yeah, okay. Let's do the first one. Okay. So we say that uh, we have the verb dress. Always we need the past participle. It's a regular verb, so the past participle is ed. We know that for all of the situations, all of the models in the past, we use have. So okay. automatically, we already have two words. We have have and dressed. The only question is now, what do we use? Do we use would? Do we use should? Do we use could? Do we use may? Do we use might? In the WhatsApp, I also sent you the picture of, so you can compare for models of opinion and advice. In this situation, it's probably for advice because you are giving the person, he, if he is meeting the parents, you are giving them the advice. And the advice would be, he could have dressed. Ah, could, it should. No, no, no. Because why is should? Well, should is not advice. Should is an opinion. Ah. So do we have to write in the in the platform that and eliminate could, need. Could have. And eliminate the last part. Okay? Okay, and check. just could have. And check it. Okay, let's try. Uh, submit. Ah, uh, yes. There you go. Uh -huh. And the second one, we can use could. It's, I ask him to wear something else. No, no, I could because it's not a possibility to wear. It's, it's an opinion. Uh -huh. um, no, no, I should have is, you can use I would have. Would. Why? I could have. Because it's what I explained, remember? You should, I would. Remember? We said, you should, I would. Mm. So remember, you should, I would. And um, so right now, I am, um, I thought I was understand, I. I had understand, but right now I'm confused. Okay, don't worry, Karen, don't worry, we'll take a look. Okay, hey, God. Okay, I know some of you are a little confused, um, and it's just for, it's a matter of practice. It's only for, we need to practice a little bit. The important is that is going to be with the word should is you should, or normally, right? And for would is what you think I would, I would have done this action. Okay. So we, we're going to, don't worry, we're going to take a look at it. We're going to practice again a little bit more on, on Monday, but and we're going to make sure that it's clear. Um, I know that some of you have already, um, are advancing pretty quickly, and, and some of you are a little bit behind, and that's okay. 
but I just wanted to make sure that it's clear um, because this week, this weekend, maybe some of you already finished the unit three because we are pretty advanced in unit three or in the beginning of next week. So I just wanted to make sure that we understand this, how the exam or how this course section works. So what happens? Okay. In this moment, we are working in still in part three, right? We are looking at, we, as the group, we haven't finished yet all of the activities. We are still here, past models for opinion and advice and on 3.7. And we're still going to do this for the next week and review this. But some of you maybe um, can advance and go ahead and you want to do the exam. So some of, since some of you want to do the exam, I'm going to explain it for everyone. Okay, you can do the exam whenever you feel comfortable, whenever you feel ready. The first part is the listening. You need to listen to the exam. You can listen more than one time. You can listen as many times as you want, two, three, four, five, whatever you want. And with the information from the listening, then you're going to choose your answer. As you can see, we have different parts. It's not just one listening. The first listening is four questions. Then we have the second listening. The second listening, again, we have another two questions. Okay? I recommend you listen, select your answer, and then listen again to check to make sure it's clear. All right? And the second one is simply you read the sentence and you choose which is the correct word. These are different, not only from lesson three. This is from, we can have from others. This is one, two, or three. So we can have, for example, here are time order words like before, or after, until, or here are what we are learning this week. The perfects, have, have, could, or learned, okay? For the different models. This part two, letter B. Then we have this part where it's about completing the sentences. In part three, where it says complete the sentence, we need to use the words that are there, okay? And we need to complete the sentences with one of these words. So we read, and according to what we remember is the definition of these words, then we complete those sentences. As you can see, there are different parts. The first one has four. Part two is a selection you read and choose the correct words in order to complete it okay then we have a part three part three is the same idea but here is a list of the words that we need and then we use those words to complete the part three that's for complete the sentences the next one is a reading this one is a little bit easier because we're used to it we're used to just reading and you look for the information is true or false according to the information in the reading, not for your opinion, for the reading. If the information is there, it's, it's going to tell you true or false for that. And all of the questions are from the reading. These are the four parts of the test, okay? After you finish the test, you can just go ahead and click next, put in the grade to make sure that it's clear, okay? And here we begin unit four. I suggest you wait, um, don't go more than unit four. If you, if you do unit three this weekend or the exam, that's fine. But I recommend that this is where you should stop. If you are not yet in unit in this part, I recommend that this weekend you complete unit section one and two, and you are at least to here to today's classes. That way you don't fall behind. That way you are not ah, trying to catch up and trying to catch up every day to do all of these activities. Okay. Now, as far as today's class, the past models for opinions and advice, some of you, it's clear and some of you know, and that's okay because we review again. We're going to take a look again for what is the difference and when we use them, when we use uh, should, when we use would, when we use could, okay? We're gonna practice some more again on Monday. Are there any questions in this moment? Yes, me. Um, yes, Marcia. We have to, we have to 
to have done the exam by the weekend? No, you don't have to have the exam done. It's if you want to, you can have the exam done by the weekend. But we will have the exam done by next week, Tuesday or Wednesday. Okay. That's why it. That's why I say because I know that for many of you, that in the week is difficult to advance in the platform, and on Friday, Saturday, Sunday is like you have more time. So some of you. The, you are behind, behind, behind in the week, and then, ah, okay, Saturday, Sunday, I have time, I don't have to go to work, and that's why I'm explaining today. Okay. 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 All right. Well, I hope you have a great weekend. If you have a chance to review, great. If not, at least put up, finish one and two, and have up to part of three. The lesson three so that way next week you are in the same schedule okay okay all right guys have a great night and enjoy your weekend thank you same. Same thank to you guys thank you teacher bye-bye and good weekend see you ya. bye-bye